Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsidertips.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best free large language models or LLMs that you can start using immediately without any sort of payment involved. Now, obviously ChatGBT is the most popular LLM available in the world today used by millions. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you some better options, in my opinion, that are also free and you can start using outside of chat GPT. Now, before diving in too much further, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to AI Insider Tips, I would truly appreciate that as I spend hours making these videos and doing all this research for you guys and try to provide as much value as I can in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So diving back in is I would be doing a complete disservice if I did not mention chat GPT at least once in a video about free LLMs. Now, this is 3.5 that I'm on now, and it is still on a wait list for ChatGBT+. So I made a video about this about a month ago now, um, where ChatGBT actually paused the Plus subscriptions, and it says due to high demand, they've paused upgrades. But if you want to access GPT-4, you can come to Bing Chat. And that is the first thing I want to show you in this video, is if you just go to bing.com, and you scroll up and click chat, you can access the GPT-4 language model for free inside Bing Chat. If you, How do I know this? So if you hover over the tab here, it says Bing Chat with GPT-4. So that's the first option here, guys, is GPT-4 through Bing Chat. So in this example, let's say I, I wanna ask, explain what a large language model is in basic terms. And I, you can prompt this with whatever you want. I'm just doing something simple for the purposes of this video, um, but it's pulling directly from Bing search results, so it's pulling a Wikipedia as a source. And the other cool part about Bing Chat and GPT-4 is that you can actually generate AI images inside this interface. Most of these free large language models do not have AI text to image capabilities yet. So this is a cool feature about using Bing Chat and GPT-4. Uh, so that's the first free option, guys, is Bing Chat powered by GPT-4. The next option is Google Bar. Now, Google recently came out with the addition of Google Gemini. So Google Gemini is Google's new language model, um, and it is working extremely well. I have a couple videos about this, and I'll leave a link to those in the video description below as well, explaining you know the power of Google Gemini, how it's performing against ChatGBT. But for this video, guys, that is the second free large language model is Google Bard powered by Google Gemini. I asked the same exact prompt here. I said, explain a large language model is in basic terms, and it breaks it down very nicely here. Now, the benefit of using Google Bard is it's great for recency. So I can say, what are the best free LLMs right now? And I'm assuming it'll pull out some recent sources here. So Google Bard is great for recency. It says open source LLMs, Llama 2. Yes, that's Meta AIs, Bloom, GPT Neo X. I've never actually heard of any of these, so maybe I need to do more research. Um, Playgrounds, yep, Hugging Face, Versal, uh, GPT for All. Um, and it even provides some links here as well. So anything that's recency related, guys, in terms of prompting, uh, Google Bard, powered by Google Gemini is its language model now is one of the best free LLMs. There's no doubt about that. All you need is a Google account to start using this. So you'll see them signed in to my Google account. And one other thing I wanna show you is that they actually have extensions. So if I click this extensions option here, you see it has a YouTube extension, a Google Workspace extension. So it can summarize, find, and get quick answers into your own content within your Google account. So Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets. If you wanna ask anything about your Google Docs or Google Sheets inside Google Bard, it can pull and scrape data inside your Google Workspace. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Google Maps, Google Hotels, Google Flights. So if you're looking to book a vacation, book a hotel, book a flight, you can come to Google Bard and ask it, hey, I'm trying to travel from uh, here to here. These are the dates I'm looking for. Please provide me with the best flight options. It'll pull directly from Google Flights in a better interface. Same with hotels as well. So just a really great free option, guys, if you haven't started utilizing this more, is Google Bard, now powered by Google Gemini. I would suggest looking into this again. The next free large language model I wanna show you is Claude. Now, Claude recently got a big upgrade. So Claude uh, is developed by a company called Anthropic, and they've had billions of dollars in investment from Amazon. They've had millions of dollars of investment from Google and other notable institutions putting a lot of money into this large language model. 
Um, so Claude, in my experience anyways, has stood the test of time, is up there with GPT-4, and is also up there with Google Palm 2. That was the old language model before Gemini. Um, I'll need to test it more against Gemini to give you a definitive answer on my opinion there. Um, but utilize Claude. So whenever you guys are doing something with large language models, you shouldn't just be sticking to one. I see this happen all the time where people just use chat GBT plus with GBT four, or they use Google Bard with Google Gemini. Uh, but I would suggest using, you know, three, four, even five large language models at once and just comparing answers with whatever you're prompting it with. It doesn't hurt to utilize more LLMs at once. Um, so guys, the next one I want to show you is perplexity. Now I believe perplexity, uh, they don't really have a straight answer. I looked into this. It is powered by open AI. I'm not, I would assume it's GPT-4 and a combination of maybe some other uh, language models. Um, but perplexity is a great option for free. You don't even need an account to start using it. It's just perplexity.ai. Um, and this is a great resource, especially for anything academic re related or research related. Um, I've had a lot of success with perplexity.ai. It just breaks things down very easily. Um, it scrapes, you know, even Google Scholar, I know it scrapes for sources. Um, just a great option here that you can use for basic text outputs. Now, it doesn't have image or video outputs or anything sophisticated like that, but perplexity.ai is a pretty cool option that you guys can start using. Now, I want to mention Llama 2. So Llama 2 is Meta AI's large language model. Um, but it's not very easy to access. You need to download the model on your computer and then follow a set of instructions from their GitHub profile, I believe. I haven't actually done this yet, um, but it is not easy to use. You have to download the model here. Um, they have instructions on how to do that, but I, got, I don't really see the point of doing that, guys, when there's a bunch of free options. You can just pull up in a web browser and start using LLMs immediately. Uh, but Llama 2 is Meta AI's large language model. They have all, all these benchmarks here. Uh, where they're comparing against, I don't even know what MPT or Falcon or Llama 1 or any of this stuff is, um, but it's looking at all these different benchmarks here. Um, I just know that Llama 2 is obviously developed by Meta. Meta is a very big player in the AI space. They just came out with Imagine with Meta AI, a free AI text to image generator. Um, so watch out for Meta AI. I think they're going to make this more accessible in the near future would be my guess. Um, but I wanted to include Llama 2 on this list if you are looking for more LLMs. And guys, the final note I want to make is this website called HuggingFace.co. So I actually didn't know about this until a couple months ago when I was doing some research on my own. Um, and this is just a, basically a repository or a database of all the LLMs or large language models that are currently being worked on by the community and by developers, people who know a lot more about this stuff than I do. Um, what's great about this site, and I'll leave a link to this exact URL in the video description below, is that you can look for all sorts of LLMs, whether it's just basic text output LLMs, um, image to text, image to video, text to video, um, and you can also come up here and sort by different things. So sort by trending, sort by most likes, you can sort by most downloads. Uh, and there are some familiar names in here. So as I scroll through here and I click trending, uh, Mistral, Mistral is another LLM to watch out for. Um, so Seamless, Playground. Um, so let's see, there was another one that I saw here. Gemini is even in here. Uh, Llama 2 was in here as well. Microsoft Orca. Uh, I've actually never heard of that one, but if it's developed by Microsoft, probably need to keep my eye on it. So this is just a great place to kind of keep your eye on what's up and coming in the world of AI, machine learning, and large language models in general. Um, but that's it, guys. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. These are some of the best free large language models that you can start using immediately without any sort of payment involved. So I hope you appreciated this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave me a comment below as I'm certain I left out some LLMs that you guys are using that I've probably never heard of. So please leave me a comment below if there's any large language models I need to look into further. And guys, I hope you all have a great day.